All right, hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear for all of you. Please invite your friends. And, uh, you know, today I decided to come earlier uh, than what we supposed to do. You know, we said we want to have 50,000 for the previous video. But, you know, I noticed many people, they are unhappy with this. So, I like to make people upset. But anyway, not, not the good ones. Uh... Today our topic is about the most documented prophet. One of you, he told me there's a Muslim. He made a video saying that there is no documentation about Jesus. But we Muslims, we documented everything about our prophet. And I wish this potato would dare to call me so we can laugh about the documentation of their prophet. Uh, you know, the funny is, that if we ask the person what is the day today he will say uh, 2023 and they are talking about documentation the whole documentation and history is written now by the date of jesus you idiot so in the same time when a muslim he says that prophet isa peace be upon him is not documented are you insulting your god or insulting who because why your god did not want to document isa they don't care for Isa. I mean, isn't it Isa right now in heaven and your prophet is dead? So, you know, when the Muhammadan they, they try to be smart, we laugh at what they claim. And the second we go and check the documentation they are proud about, they will say it is Daif. What? It's Daif. 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 Daif, 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 but it says Sahih, for me it's Daif, okay, like, but it says in Al-Bukhari, it's clear, it's Daif, so the Muhammadan, they have a lot of documentation of their prophet, the second you read for them what their prophet said, they say Daif, we don't accept this documentation, and here you see the stupidity of this stupid religion, if I can call it a religion. You know, like, Shaitan, he fought when, you hear, when he hear the Adhan. Is that a Sahih Hadith or not? It is Sahih, documentation. So now we have documentation proving that Muhammad is an idiot. He's a superstition person, he's mentally ill. But just to make you happy about speaking about documentation. Let me open the Hadith website. <clears throat> Remember, the Muslims are proud, but they, call, they have documentation of their prophet. Everything you do, even when you do poo-poo. But before we go there, we really want to get dirty. Uh, let, me, let me show you something. Prove that Islam and the, follow, the followers of Muhammad are really mentally unstable. I'm not insulting, by the way. I'm just describing the situation. And I will prove it in a second. I'm opening the Hadith website. And now we will put it for you on the screen. They are proud about what? They, are, they wrote everything Muhammad, he said in the Hadith. But by doing that, you disobey your God and your Prophet. Because your Prophet, Aka Muhammad, Aka Qatham, Aka Idiot, Aka Sunset in murky Water, Aka Shake Your Penis Three Time, Aka Shaitan Sleep on Your Nose, Piss in Your Ears, Play With Your Penis, Go Inside the Women's Vagina, and Make fun a fi a Fire in Her Pubic Area. All those your Prophet stories. The Prophet, he said, not me. And this is Sahih, brother. This is this is Sahih Muslim. Don't tell me that if now. Don't don't play the, the don't don't sleep in your back, little puppy, and play dead. This is Sahih. This is Sahih Muslim. The Prophet he said. Who who said who who? The Prophet. Who? The Prophet. Should we take it seriously? No. He's mentally ill. This guy was illusional. You know. He imagined himself having sex. In fact, he did not. It was documented. 
<laughs> Not only that, somebody took some hair from his ass and he placed magic on him and the prophet, he go have sex with the pillow or with the goat, but yet he think it's his wife. It's documented. Aren't you proud? Pr sorry, proud. So the second now we showed him this, this, this video about the, everything about the prophet is documented. It's documented too that you are mentally ill, all of you. Read with me. The prophet said, don't take down anything which means don't write down anything from me and he who took down anything from me except the quran he should efface that narrate from me for there is no harm in it and he who attributed any falsehood to me uh, okay what he will set in hellfire so Look how stupid this religion is. The Edith Muhammad just told you, don't write what I say. The Abdul, he took a pen, he starts saying, the Prophet, he just said, don't write what I say. Abdul, he just said to you, don't write what he say. I mean, this idiot in the zoo, Muhammad, he just said, don't write down what I say. So what do you Muslim, you do? You go, you grab your pen, and you say, the Prophet, peace be upon him, he said, don't write down what I say. And if you write down anything I say, erase it. What the heck? And you are proud about we having documentation. You just to prove to me that you Muslim, you don't, you don't give a damn about your Prophet. I mean, the guy, he just told you, don't do it. By the way, my Skype is open. If you are a Muslim and you are so excited, I will be so happy to make you flat tire. I have the needle, which will make every Muslim flat tire. You want to try it? If you don't believe me, just give me a call. My Skype is open. Oh, uh, Let us see. I mean, people text me when I am not online, which is weird. Mm. First, I want to say thank you. Yeah, people, they send me a message, says to me, uh, thank you. And this is what I'm waiting for. Uh, I want to ask your reference. Hmm. I spend hours here just to get people sending me messages, saying they send their. So, why I spend hours here and show in the screen? So, what I was doing. Don't send me those messages. That this will prove that you have you have a you have a low IQ. So what we have in front of us on the screen. Anytime you see anything in my videos in the screen, you can even if it's in Arabic, by the way, you can use your Google phone, your search engine, open the camera, click search, and you can find the exact text as a, as a page. Then you can go and you can translate the page. Same you can go do here. I mean, life is easy with the internet today and the technology. I remember, you know, first time I made videos on YouTube, I had to hold a camera. I bought a camera, very expensive at that time. Hold it with my hand and record my screen with the, with the video tape camera. And then to make the video convert it will take seven, six, six hours. And then to load the video, it's on mission impossible because we have like a phone connection you lose connection the file is so slow i mean now it's so easy going back to our topic so the prophet of allah is very much documented you know uh just to give you an idea how much the prophet of allah was documented Abu Huraira is the most famous reporter for the Hadith, the father of the cat. Abu Huraira I means the father of the cats. <clears throat> he said, if I mention to you the Hadith, which the Prophet used to say, in the time of Umar al-Khattab, he will hit me. <laughs> Even with the cooking pot, <laughs> or even with the with the hammer, 
or even with anything. Umar al-Khattab, the second he hear Muslims quoting hadith, he hit the person who say that hadith. And here you need to ask yourself why. Umar al-Khattab, he don't like Muhammad. What is the reason? Maybe Umar al-Khattab, he uh, hate Muhammad. Or maybe what the Muslims saying about Muhammad is not right. I'm just trying to find you the hadith. Uh, let us see. About Umar al-Khattab beating Abu Huraira. It should be in Sahih Muslim variant number one. But uh, I want to see. Hold give me a second. <coughs> Uh, okay, let's see. Where is the hadith? My screen is off, I know, don't worry. I'm just trying to find you. The authentic hadith. Hmm. Let us see. If I could not find it in English, I will show it uh, in Arabic. Maybe we cannot find it in English. All right, maybe we have to use the Arabic. What we can do. Okay, well, let us uh, use the Arabic website then, and then show you the reference. And as you see, this reference reported many times, and even it says this is authentic. This is Islam and uh, Su'al wa Jawab, which mean question and answer. And as you see, this is not my website, and this is not me. And all there is nothing but reference. And the question a person is asking about how accurate this story is. The answer is yes, it is very accurate. So... Uh, what is the story saying? That when Abu Huraira, he mentioned hadith, Muhammad, he said, Umar al-Khattab, he beat him. Let us use Google Translation. But let us first uh, highlight where we can find it. Uh, uh, I will post the link for you. Here it says, number. when you see this number, in this uh, line, number two, uh, eleven eighty one. It says here uh, that you know when he mentioned the hadith, uh, he hit him uh, for mentioning that hadith. The same story is appearing in again, and this is in Musnad Ahmad one five seven one five, and this is in the book of At Tabarani. Uh, and this is a, a, a book of Al-Tabarani, Al-Mu'ajam Al-Kabir, very number seven, verse one, uh, sorry, page number 149. Uh, and this is mentioned uh, in uh, the book, Tariq al madina very number one, uh, page number 11. Uh, 
uh, and they are missing all the heath, including the one which is daif. But as you see here, it says here as an example, this is sahih. It's not the sahih. Sahih. Uh, yeah. So they are mentioning all kind of hadith. All of them, they report the same thing, but we will take only what is considered authentic for the Muhammadan. So Muhammad, uh, sorry, Omar, when uh, Abu Huraira, he mentioned something, uh, he did beat him, you know. And then maybe because Muhammad, he said, don't mention it, don't write it, we do not know. But this is what it says. So if we go down where it says number two, let us search for the word beat in English. Because now we have the word. Uh, uh, it doesn't show really in the English translation. I'm not sure why. Um, anyway, uh, maybe you can, you know, you can translate the page and you can read it, try to find out. Uh, maybe I can do another thing. Uh, I can reverse the translation and copy uh, in Arabic and paste again. Uh, sentence by sentence. Uh, let's see. Okay. I will take one line at a time and just to show you, give you an idea. Yeah. But I want to be sure this is first about Abu Huraira, not somebody else, because until now I don't see. Let us see where it says Huraira. Mm, this is why. Okay, hold on. This is a different thing. Give me another minute, please. <clears throat> we want the hadith which mention Abu Huraira specifically. Let us see what we will see here. I'm just trying to find this hadith. Give me a second. I know that you guys maybe you don't like to wait long, but sometimes we have difficulty to find what we are looking for. Yeah, uh, let me pause this uh, this website for you. This is better. I found an official website. All right. Let me wait for you on the screen. And I will give you the link. So all of you, you can open it and you can uh, do a Google translation. Uh, and this is the question here. Did Omar forbid Abu Huraira from reporting Hadith? This is fatwa number 49213. And here there is uh, the report, you know, uh, one of the report, you know, and let us see what is going to say. Let me post the link for you, you guys, you know, just not to waste our time. I will post it in the chat and you can use Google translation if you like to do so. 
So here it says, when Muhammad, when, when Abu Huraira, he report, there's many stories here uh, about how he did beat him. Uh, like, uh, uh, as an example here, he did beat him between his breast, between his breast. Uh, and here, uh, Omar, this is even in the time of Muhammad. Omar is beating Abu Huraira in the time of Omar. Let us see. Hmm. Yeah, so here Abu Omar, uh, Omar he accused Abu Huraira of lying uh, because he said the hadith of Omar he did not like. Let us see. Hmm. Yeah, this is one of the stories. There's many stories. Let us see here. I don't know why it's not translating. I click translate. It's not working. Try again. Translate the full page. There we go. So the question here, as you see, is it true that Omar, uh, he prevented Abu Huraira from narrating hadith. The, the whole point is that uh, the Muslims, they disobey their prophet when they claim that they documented what their prophet is saying. However, we as a Christians, we are so proud of the Muslims for doing what they do. As an example, when Muhammad, he said this, this is documented, proving that Muhammad is a fraud. And this is Al-Bukhari and Muslim. Muhammad, he claimed that there is no disease can be transmitted. This is a lie. Muhammad saying, whoever say to you that a disease can be transmitted from a person to a person, that is a lie. All right? The hate in front of you, this is Sahih Al-Bukhari. This is authentic. 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 Even here it says Sahih, you know, authentic. Uh, read with me carefully. The Prophet saying, there is no infection and no evil. Actually, this is false translation. He did not say there is no infection. He says there is no transmission of disease. Not inf You see how they lie? I mean, look, it's the same hadith. Look, here, here they are saying no infection. The same exact sentence. Look here what they say. There is no transmission of disease. Do you see how they lie? It's exactly the same words. So if you ask yourself why they are translating differently, because one of them is trying to hide what Muhammad said because he noticed this is something stupid. Are you with me? Anyone in the chat will talk about Protestant Roman Catholic. I will send you to Allah free shipping and handling. So watch your mouth. Don't come here, play between my, my between my socks. Little devil. We have a topic. If you are immature, if you are a stupid, if you are a monkey, go to the zoo. So, when Muhammad said, there is no transmission of a disease, and this is documented, and this is what they are proud about, and this is a proof to us that the documentation proving that Muhammad is a false man. So I want to say to you, thank you very much for your documentation. And here you need to ask yourself, why the Muslims lie and they say there is no infection and no evil omen? What does that mean? When the fact he says, la adwa, la adwa. Look, there is no infection. Look how they fabricate translation. The same exact hadith. There's no infection, they say. But this is not what Arabic saying. It says there is no disease of transmission, which means he don't agree what people claim that if somebody is sick with some kind of disease. Look, this is the same hadith. Look, here it says there's no transitive disease. Do you see it? You go up, the same hadith, they say there's no infection. <laughs> 
they lie in order to duct tape their prophet. Let us see different hadith. This is a hadith about a Jewish man schooling Muhammad about monotheism and Muhammad he followed the Jewish man, not Allah. The Jewish man he accused Muhammad and the Muhammadan in his time, in his front of in the front of his face, that he is associating pagan gods with God. What Muhammad he did, he agreed. It's documented, and this is Sahih, as you see. So how Muhammad is a prophet of God, yet a little Jewish man walking by, we do not know who is he. He's nobody, obviously. Schooling your prophet about how monotheism is. Teaching him what to say, what not to say. And then Muhammad, he take what this man say for granted, and he tell the people, his people, to follow what the Jewish man said. So the question is, where was your God to teach Muhammad that he is doing wrong? And why Muhammad is taking his religion from a Jew to learn about monotheism if he was a monotheist already? And as you see, this is Sahih. Remember, it's documented. We have a number for it. Thank you very much for the documentation. What about this hadith? This is the same one actually we saw. Let us see the front hadith. Hold on. Which one I will show you? Ah, this is documented. The Prophet, when he take a shower, when he wash himself to prepare himself to abolition, he jump like a pig to water, have dead dogs and women of blood from period. And he have uh, garbage. It's documented. Even here it says Sahih. Look, Mr. Documented. So the potato who is proud about his prophet, we, doc we know nobody in the world documented as Muhammad. We, we are so happy that you did. This is how, who is your prophet? He is a man who jump in shit, excuse my language, to, to, to wash. Even sewage is cleaner than this. And when they ask him about his behavior, what Muhammad he claim? That water is always a clean. Nothing make it not a clean. It's documented. It is documented. Aren't you the one who is proud about your prophet life is documented? We are proud about it too. Do you see it? Is that Da'if? No. It says Hassan here. Hassan means good. This one is has the same. This is Hassan. The, the name of the grandson of Muhammad Hassan, which means good. Hey, this is Sahih. This is Sahih. Do you see it? This is Sahih. This is Sahih. It's documented. It is documented that your prophet, he says stupid things. I mean, I don't know how long I should go. As an example, your prophet, he claimed that he have the power of 30 men in sex. In different hadith, it says 40 men. How? Because Allah, he gave him a dish of shish kebab. He ate it. He got the power of 40 men. Let me see if I can find the hadith in English. Documented. Uh, let us see. So when a Muslim he says, we have everything about our prophet documented we love. You are ashamed of it, you know. Let us see. Uh, here we go. Look at this. Look at this. This is Al-Bukhari. 
The prophet, excuse my language, he if all his wives in one hour. It's documented. And not only that, he don't even take a shower between them. He take off the panties of his wives. They don't have panties anyway. They are always ready. Hookers. It's documented. Is that me saying that? Is it me saying that? And look at the translation it says here that the prophet used to visit his wives in a round during the day. That's a false translation. It says in Arabic, الْوَاحِدَة In one hour. In one hour. You see how even they lie in the translation just to hide the, 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 the story? I mean, the guy, he have at least, uh, he have 13 supposedly, and uh, he killed some, you know, they die from transmitted disease. And now he have 11 alive together, and he F, excuse my language, he F them all in one hour. If I take this, let me open Google Translate. I will take it as it is, just to show you how they lie. This is why you cannot. You cannot trust Mohammedans. As you see, I copy in front of you. I will take it to Google Translation, paste. Translation in English. The Prophet, may Allah praise on him, he used the translation here is coming uh, uh, visit, you know. No, this is about uh, having sex. Uh, uh, visit his wives in one hour at the night or in the day. Like, doesn't matter if it's night or, uh, or you know. And at that time, he have 11. The, or the companion, he said, can he really, do he have the strength to do that? The answer, yes. He have the drink, the drinks of 30 men, brother. 30 men. It's documented. 30 men, but the Prophet, he cannot have sex, as other hadith says. He can't have babies. Even there is a chapter in the Quran speaking about his penis. It is documented. It is documented that Muhammad, he was bewitched. So, when you are proud about documentation, this is a Bukhari. So if a Christian, he says to you, tell me about your bewitched prophet, are you going to be upset for what is documented? Are you going to be unhappy? Are you going to say to me why you're insulting my prophet? I'm not the one who said he was bewitched. It's you Muslims. And he was bewitched to the point he cannot even recognize he is having sex with who? However, it's proven, documented, as you see, it's not his wives. Aisha, she said, documented, the prophet continued for such and such period, documented, imagining that he had sexual intercourse, documented, with his wives, documented, and in fact, he did not, documented. So, we have, you know, the most prophet, uh, the most documented prophet. And what make it more stupid too, that the Muslim they claim that the hadith is from Allah. And even Aisha, Allah, he chose Aisha for Muhammad so she can say those hadith for us. Documented. <laughs> you know, I mean, we have a lot of documented stuff, my friend. Right? Let us see something else about documented. Hmm. It was documented that your prophet book, the Quran, eaten by a goat. Focus with me, guys, in the topic, otherwise I will block you. Focus in the topic. If you are not interested, you know, we don't want kids. I'm not here to have fun. I'm here to teach you. If you are here for fun, leave. Go to a different place. The verse of a stoning and breastfeeding for adult documented Breastfeeding for adult 10, documented. Are you proud 
that your prophet, peace be upon him, received 10 times breastfeeding for adult verses documented. And then we find somebody like Mimi Hijab going around asking Muslim women to suck their tits documented. Hmm? And the Muslim he asked Mimi Hijab, what kind of mannerism are these? Shame on you, Muhammad. Muhammad Hijab answered, why? Is it wrong? He believed it's halal. That's a good point, by the way. Documented. So when one of you, he sent me, uh, saying to me, this Muslim, he says documented. I want to ask the person who sent me this uh, uh, question. I mean, are you, are you an idiot? Shouldn't you say to him, it's documented. So what you are learning from me all this time? Why you don't say to him, to the one who made the whatever video, say to him, yeah, it's documented that your prophet, he shake his penis three times. It's documented that your prophet, he piss in the street in the front of kids. It's documented that your prophet, he wipe his hands after sex, drying his hands in the wall. Documented. Why you people don't have a memory? Why you don't have a, you know, what, so what we are teaching you? He said it's documented, show him the documentation. He's proud about it, use it against him. So a breastfeeding for adult 10 time, I wanna know what kind of God he gave a command from his holiness, Allah, that the women she have to give her boobs to me so I can sit with her. And then Aisha, you know, she uh, she commanded her sisters and her nieces that anyone want to enter upon her have to do breastfeeding to her sisters 10 times before she can see him. If you have, if you are a prophet of Allah and your wife is a beautiful woman, I would love to visit you every day. It's documented. So imagine to see the wife of the prophet, Aisha, claiming that you have to suckle her sister boobs 10 times. I don't know why she's not doing it, because maybe she don't have milk. And by the way, she suckled them what? There's no milk. I mean, do you think women is a goat? Even a goat don't have milk unless there is a baby. You think goats, they have always milk? Like they have a faucet? It's documented that the goat ate your book. It's documented, as you see, this is, a, this is an authentic hadith. Documented. You see, you cannot say this is daif. Can you? The goat ate the book. Okay, you know what is documented? That Allah has sent 10 times, and there is tons of hadith about it. 10 times breastfeeding for adult. Why we cannot find the 10 times breastfeeding for adult in the Quran? You will tell me, are you stupid? The goat ate it. I will say to you, you are stupid, not me. The goat ate the book, did not eat your memory. Don't you Muslim claim that you recite the Quran by heart? Don't you Muslim claim that Allah preserved the Quran? So the goat ate the book. Did the goat eat your memory? Maybe this goat is a Trojan horse. She went to your computer, your brain, and she started chewing your memory. All right, let us see. We have somebody here, supposedly as a Muslim. Maybe. Unless it is this uh, girl, she changed her voice. Let us give her, give her a chance. Hello? Yeah, it's her, mostly. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Can, Can you me? speak louder, please? Okay. Can you hear me now? Hello? Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you now. Okay. So what do you think about the topic that your prophet life is documented? Yeah, but uh, you saw some, you t told some things, but uh, actually you missed the press and you misunderstood so many hadiths. So, uh, say again, what? I think there is something, you, maybe there is something wrong from my speakers. Let me see. From my headphone, maybe. 
Okay. Can okay. I call you after a second? Let me change the headset. Okay. okay. Give me a second. You see, I have a problem from my side. I don't know why. So it's possible that my there's a defect in my side. Let us see. Let me change this one here. Let me do a test. Okay, hold on. I will try to get another headset because I have a problem here and I don't know why. Uh, uh, my ears is very good in hearing anything. I can hear it in live from a distance. I bought, a, I bought a set of those, you know, those are headset like for phone. Uh, I don't like to use those ones, the, 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 the big ear stuff, stuff. Let me see. I still have two here. Let's take one off from this container. I will mute the mic, guys, so you don't uh, bother by my voice. I mean, the opening this thing. All right, we open it. Let us see what the problem. Or maybe from my, uh, you know, I have a connection here, so it might be the problem too. So we will see, we will find out. Just give me a minute uh, to see what the problem. What is the problem? <laughs> Let me see if I will hear with this headset. Okay, maybe I need to let us do a test. I apologize, guys. Yeah, I found now the reason. Maybe by mistake I touched this. All right, let us call this guy. I think now we are fine. Yeah, it turned to be is not the headset really. This is a, like a cheap one, you know, they are not really expensive. Uh, let's call him. All right. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, it's not uh, from your side actually. It was from my side. Okay. 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 All right. Okay, okay. So, what do you think about our topic? What's your name? Your name is uh, Fazlan. Yeah. Yes. All right. So, what do you think? Go ahead. I'm listening. Okay. So, actually, you actually I think you did not understand some hadith. Okay. So first, you mentioned something about uh, that disease. Okay. Contagious disease. So the actual meaning of that one is because we believe everything happens with the will of Allah. So that means if it is a contagious disease, it is not going to spread itself unless Allah will. So that is the actual meaning, okay? 
So I don't understand, you know. So is the hadith is something when when the Muslim they say that the story of Muhammad life is documented. Are you talking yes. are you talking about a documentation which is proven to be true or it's full of lies? No, no. I'm telling in terms of hadith, okay, you know already you know about Islam, in terms of hadith, even though we have Sahih hadith, okay, sometimes the possibility it could be a mistake, okay. But what you but but when you explain something, you have to be specific and you have to understand the context. So in that first hadith you mentioned, there's no any contagious disease. Actually, it is talking about the will of Allah. Like in Christianity, there's a sect called Calvinism, right? They believe in predestination in the same way. Maybe you know, we also believe in predestination. Three what? So, three what? Predestination. That is. What do you mean? Ola, Ola. What, what three destination? We Christian, we believe in three destination? No, I think you don't believe, but there's a denomination, Calvinism, right? But, uh, well, th those are ideas of people, you know, for us, we follow the Bible, it's not up to somebody. You can come with your own, is, is, you know, uh, uh, understanding, but the Bible, yeah, never, the, the Bible never yeah. mentioned, we don't have such a thing. The Bible never mentioned this. So if somebody no. when I became a philosopher and they bring his own philosophy, but, but you are trying to change the topic, my friend. We are talking about what is written in Muslim books, not understanding of the Hadith. It's what it is written. Is it true? Is it false? No, it is true, but the actual meaning is different. The actual meaning is everything happens with the will of Allah. Like if the, if the disease transmitted to someone else, that's happened with the will of Allah. So that is the actual meaning, right? So even in... So, okay, so hold on. So when Ayesha, she said that the, we, we were busy with the Prophet death, and uh, uh, a goat came and ate the hadith. Even this one need understanding, like uh, you Muslims can be confused about it, uh, about this. A goat no, ate okay. the Quran. Okay, so now and there was ten time breastfeeding for adult. So what do you think? What is your what is your reaction for Allah sending, uh, you know, uh, uh, such a hadith, and the goat ate it? And it's about what? It's about a breast fear for adult. Okay, so in Quran, Allah Himself says He has sent down the Quran, He will preserve it. So also, we you know because Aisha said something, I know, I know there's a Sahih Hadith. But when Quran was compiled, the Udman and all the companions, they agreed the Quran is complete. So we have Well nobody nobody of the companion disagree with this. Can you show me? Prove me wrong. So all oh, okay, okay. this is why this is why the hadith is reported from Aisha through hundreds of years supposedly, and none of you Muslims complain. So the, no, don't play, claim it's you know. So I'm asking you now, a documentation yeah, saying that Allah okay. He commanded Muslim women to give their okay. breast and to feed a foreigner, a stranger, ten times, and this was verse in the Quran, and the goat ate the Quran. Can you tell me what is the verse of a 10 time breastfeed for adult? Is it is in the Quran? No, because when the Quran was compiled, Uthman yeah. never mentioned that some words are missing. Because all the companion agreed, Quran is complete. Because can you show me anywhere like Uthman or the people who compiled the Quran, the some words was missing? That's my first point. And the second point, the as a Christian, you can. What is the first describe. What is the first point? I did not understand. Say it again slowly, okay, yes. please. Okay, my first point is when the Udma and the companions of Prophet Muhammad compiled the Quran, did they ever mention we missed something? Because oh yeah, sure, the sure. They mention a lot, you know, because there's okay. tons of hadith speaking that Mata yassara minhu, which means what we were able to collect, not all of it, you know. Okay. And okay. yeah, so there is it's documented too. So you see, you Muslims, you claim that the Quran is preserved. Uh, there is an Imam, uh, Mimi Hijab, he just mentioned his name 20 times in the previous video. We prayed this, this time, as Suyuti. Okay. And he mentioned okay. about tons of uh, chapters are missing. As an example, chapter of Al Baqarah used to be equal to the chapter of Al Ahzab. So there is, there is, there is, there is a hundred of verses are missing in one chapter alone, not in the Quran all, one chapter, which means you can imagine how many is missing in the whole Quran. So it's documented by your scholars and by your companion that the Quran is not preserved and the Hadith 
is a shameful hadith and you Muslims cannot explain to us like now if I ask you what the point of Allah sending Quran for a woman to give her breast and time to a stranger what the point tell me okay you can ask me the same question in the Bible you think Bible is preserved so Bible is corrupted as well this point the Bible is what Bible, Bible is what Bible also corrupted you don't have the okay Bible. you see okay I, I will go okay. with you I will go with you I will go with you first of all when a Muslim he said the Bible is corrupted are you saying to me your prophet is a liar because the Quran says that Muhammad he confirmed the Bible which is between our hands is that correct this is not Quran, this is not Hadith. You see, here we go, you play the Hadith now. Oh, this is Hadith, it's not, uh, Hadith says, no. The Hadith never say that, and this is Quran. So, okay. the Quran the Quran says, as an example, chapter 2, verse number 89, that Allah, he said to Muhammad, that he confirmed what is between our hands. And what is between our hands is the Torah and the Gospel. No, can you show me the verse? Because when I just Quran told you the verse, okay. chapter 2, verse number 89. Okay, when Quran talks about the angel and Torah, it is talking about the original angel and Torah. Because what you have in the Bible, it is I No, no, no. Why why are you jump in, you know, like uh, in, the, in the speed of light? I just showed you from the Quran that your book okay. confirm our book. You throw a rock at me saying to me, well, your Bible is corrupt. Secondly, you, when a Muslim he say your Bible is corrupted, isn't it supposedly the Bible is the Bible of Allah? No, I am telling if the Bible is corrupted. Who is the Bible the Bible of Allah or not? Is Allah who is the one who sent yeah. the Injil? Okay, so yeah. Yeah. so when you say when you claim that the Bible is corrupted, you are insulting your God, saying to us your God cannot protect His book. Correct? No, no, it is not about the protection of the capability. Okay, the, when when somebody corrupt the Bible, did he corrupt the Bible according to Allah will? Or to his will, can I do something against Allah? Will no, okay. So, are you saying to me now? Everybody heard you that nobody can do something against the will of Allah. So, are you saying to me it was the will of Allah to corrupt the Bible? No, because in Islam, it is how no, hold on, how no, how no, you just said no. I said to you, can I do something myself against the will of Allah? You said no. Then I ask you, listen carefully, then I ask you. Can somebody corrupt the Bible against the will of Allah? You said no. So the Bible is corrupted according to the will of Allah. So the one who wanted the Bible to be corrupt is Allah. That's what you are saying to me. No, that is, I think that is not an improper logic because according to Islam, whatever evil, it has come from the man. The evil deed, not. It's what? It's what? It's what? That means the evil deed, okay? Something good. No, 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 no. You see, hold on. If I want to, this is the book of Allah. This is not an evil deed. Yeah, I'm telling can you. Can I, can I, hold on, can I corrupt the Quran? No, because in Quran. It's okay, hold on. Allah so hold on. No, no, before we continue, before we continue, before we continue. So I cannot corrupt the Quran. Why? Go ahead. Because in Quran it is mentioned, Allah will protect the Quran, Allah explicitly mentioned. I it challenge you, I challenge you to show me the verse where it says Allah will protect the Quran. Because I don't have the verse in my head, I have to go... My friend, it. I will give you 10,000 years. The Quran never mentioned Allah will protect the Quran. The Quran said that nobody can change the words of Allah and the Bible supposedly and the Torah according to Islam is the word of Allah. And the Quran says if this is a book made by other than Allah, you will find in it a lot of contradiction. So if Allah say in the Quran, nobody can change or exchange the word of Allah, then nobody can exchange the word of Allah. Allah never said anything about protecting the Quran. No, first, first people, you have to understand when we say it is the Quran, it's the word of God, okay? In the Bible and Torah, Injil and Torah, it is an eyewitness account. This is not a word it's of what? God. It's what? It's what? It's a, it is an eyewitness. Eyewitness means the people who saw, they, they wrote it down. It is not a word of God. So okay, who, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see? You, 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 you I, 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 I know, I don't know what you ate before you called me. Why you are changing the topic? Allah, he said, hold on, Allah, he said, chapter 6, verse number 34, 
Nobody can change the words of Allah. Is the Injil and the Torah is from the word of Allah. Nobody can change the word of Allah. The context is Quran. It is not talking about the Bible, not Torah. Okay, hold on. So, okay. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. How you know it's talking about the Quran? Because already it is mentioned in the Quran, the Torah and Injil were corrupted because it is clearly mentioned that even in the early Islam, like Ibn Abbas had that opinion, the Torah and Injil were who, 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 who had opinion? Ibn Abbas, okay. Ibn, Ibn Abbas. Abbas, okay, hold on, guys. Ibn Abbas have opinion. I say to you, show me what your prophet said. Show me what the Quran said. You say yeah. to me, Ibn yeah. Abbas. Okay, yeah. hold on. No, no. Do you have a book of Do you have a book of Ibn Abbas? No, no, CP. It is in, it is in the Quran. It's no, listen, listen. Quran. You mentioned to me opinion of Ibn Abbas. I did not hear it yet. We want to hear it. No problem. But do you have a book of Ibn Abbas? No, I am so how you know Ibn Abbas he say what he said? No. You are the one who's changing the topic. So why can't we stick to one topic? No, I'm we are in the topic. You are the one who mentioned Ibn Abbas, not me. So I'm asking you, Ibn Abbas said, where you get what Ibn Abbas said from? It is from his tafsir. Tafsir. Okay. Can you show me the Sahih hadith from the tafsir saying the Christian they change their book, which is Sahih, which means we can find it in the Bukhari. We can find it in Sahih Muslim. We can find it in any authentic. So we can take it into consideration. Can we? No, it is, <laughs> it is mentioned in the Quran itself. The Tawran angel is corrupted. Where it mentioned that? Okay, if you can show me that, I'm going to shave my 25 foot beard. The Quran says, that will help you. We do not know your Quran, obviously. They change their location. How? You read the interpretation, it says, a Jew, he put his finger over the verse. That's it. How that is a change? How, how, how that is a corruption? He put his finger. Your prophet was sitting next to him. The Jew, he put his finger over the Torah. How that is a corruption? So now, if you are sitting next to me and I put my finger over a word in the Quran, my finger, is that will make the Quran corrupt? No, I will, let me show you the verse, okay? What? Because, uh, okay. Let me show you the Quranic verse, okay? Okay. So, okay. Let me tell you one thing before that one. So, hmm. in early Islam, okay, we had two opinions about the Injil and Torah. You have, you have two opinion. You have two opinion. Yeah. Okay. Why you have two? Yeah. Why you have two opinion? Yeah. Yeah, let me let, let me speak, okay? In no, no, no. I, you see, we are talking, my friend. We are having a conversation. Take it easy. Yeah. Why you Muslim have two opinion about simple thing? I mean, are you saying to me that Muslims agree about not to agree? Why we don't have one? Why we don't have one opinion? Yeah, because in the Quran it is mentioned uh -huh. Bible and Torah are corrupted, but it is not explicitly. Okay, so hold on, have... hold on, hold on. So yeah, in yeah. the Quran it mentioned. Okay. Hold on, in the Quran it mentioned, and I challenge you to tell me where that the Bible and the Torah is corrupted, and yet you have two opinion about it. How? Why? Yeah, first of all, you have to let me speak what I have to say, because if you are going to continue to interrupt me, there's no way I can tell what I have to tell. I'm, I'm, me tell I'm very much into details, so you cannot escape what you say. And be careful, I'm telling you, whatever you say yeah. is going to be used against you. Now, yeah, give, me, so give me the two opinion and give me the verse saying that the Bible and the Torah is corrupted. I will give you the verse. Before that, let me tell you the two opinions. The first opinion was the meaning, the text was not changed, but the people, the rabbis and the monks, they changed the meaning. Ah, the text, the text, see, now, text. look guys, the, the text did not change, but the meaning changed. How that can be corruption? Yeah. Okay, let, that is the first opinion. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on. You just told me, you just told me you Muslims have two opinions. I can challenge you to find me one verse in the Quran. You don't have a thousand opinions about it, which means thousands of meanings. So according to you, Islam itself is corrupted because the text did not change, but you have too many meanings. Everybody have his own meaning. <laughs> don't you think in the Bible you don't have different opinions? Okay. At first, no, 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 no. You see, you see. Oh, hold on. No, we cannot have different op We cannot have different opinion about Jesus saying, whoever, you know, uh, ask, I will give, whoever, you know, believe and he die, he will live, uh, whoever believe in me, you know, ask in my name, 
uh, I am the Alpha, I am the Omega, I am the truth and the life. How that can even be op opinion? You Muslims, you have different opinion about everything. Name one thing, name one thing for me you don't have a different opinion about. And let me ask you again, please. Listen, you just agreed, everybody heard you, that the text never changed. And we changed the meaning. Can you give me an example? Okay, because you said there, there was no different opinion in the Bible. Because I have gone through the Bible history, okay? If you see the earlier church fathers, they had so many different opinions about the Trinity itself. Like Clement of Rome. No, yes, yes. there is no. That's not. That's not true. Those are not the Christian, my friend. No, my friend. The, okay. The, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You see, don't don't go. Don't go there. Don't go there. I mean, this looks stupid. Let me. Let me. Let me. Let me make it simple for you. When you say to me uh, that we have the book and the text never change, so now if we open the book which we have between our hands, does the book does the, does the book mention it clearly, the Trinity or not? Okay, let me tell you the second point because you never let me speak. This is the point. That no, because I will not let you jump like a horse from place to place. No. When you say no, something, just, you have you have to you have to prove it. And look what you okay. just did. look what you just did. You just agreed in the beginning. You said that the, the Torah and the Bible is corrupted. Now you said no, they are not corrupted as text. They are changed as meaning. Okay. I will go with you. Hold on. I will go with. Oh, I will go with you. Hold on. I will go with you. I will go with you. So when the God, when, hold on, my friend, my friend, my friend. I want you to explain to me one verse. Jesus, he said, "I am from above. You are from below." Let me tell you the second opinion. My friend, I give give me your opinion. I want to see how smart you are. Jesus said, "I am from above." You are from below. Okay. What does that mean? Do tell what does that mean? Huh? It just it, it means many things. Okay. What? It means what? Yeah. You tell what it means. You tell it is the he's the goat. Okay, then I can ask you. No, 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 no. You see why you are why you don't tell me? Here we go. You said to me you agreed that this is a book never been changed. The text is the same. Okay. In the in the, as no, an example. No. Let me let me finish. Why can't you finish? Because how much time we have to spend? We have time. We have time. We have time. You see, on it, whatever you say, I'm going to hold you from it. I'm not going to let you go. I'm not going to let you escape with what you said. So now, when Jesus says, "Before before Abraham, I am," how you can explain that to me? You are the Muslim. Explain the Bible for me now. Go ahead. Oh, okay, okay. Before even the devil, Satan was before Abraham. So if he got. No problem, but Jesus is not Satan. Do you agree with me that Jesus is not Satan? Yeah, but it is. It is okay, so don't. Why you are comparing Jesus to Satan? Are you being stupid now? Okay. Did, did Jesus? Did Jesus? Did Jesus? Did Jesus say that before the world exists, he was exist? No, you are the one said before Abraham, Jesus was. I am telling you, if that is the logic, he is the God. Then devil should be God too, because even. Devil was existed before Abraham. No, Even you say before Abraham, Abraham, before Abraham, that means before all the father of the prophets, Jesus was. How he was, okay. explain to me how he was, how he was, how he is claiming that he exists when he is born of Mary. How you explain that? Okay, you can say, you can, I can say you the same. In Bible, Jesus said, only father knows the other. No problem. We, we, we can go there. We can go there. You see, here we go. You are jumping. I'm asking you now. We go. We go to the hour. Your God do not know the hour. Jesus, he said, he did not say, I do not know the hour. He says, okay. my father. He just said, my father. So you just said, admit it, that the Bible is not. Hold on. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So the question is, when Jesus, he said, my father, did Jesus say that I am the judge in the judgment day? So the father, he have a job to do. He is the one he will announce the day of judgment. The son, he will be the judge over mankind. So this is why we believe in Trinity. The father have a job. He, as Jesus, he said, I work and my father work too. What is the work of the father? When it's time, he will announce the day of judgment. That's why he called him the father. The father mean is the one who I, me, myself, I have my authority from him. We Christian, we don't believe that Jesus is the father. We believe that the Father is a person, the Son is a person, the Holy Spirit is a person. Hold on, just wait, just wait. So what you are confusing yourself with, because you are a Muslim, you don't learn Christianity from us, you learn it from the from a dummy Muhammad. 
So when Jesus said, I am before the whole world as with you, uh, was with your father, that means Jesus was exist from the beginning of the time. Do we agree? Uh, okay, let me tell, let me, let me tell you. Hmm. So in Jesus said, only father knows the other. He said, if we say father knows the other, it's okay. He said, not, not a single man knows, not even the angels know, not even the sun know. Do not know. No problem. No, no problem. Because there is two reasons. There is two reasons, my friend. He is not saying he do not know. He is. They are asking him because simply in Christianity. Hold on, hold on, my friend, my friend, my friend. You see, you are jumping from place to place to place. Okay, but did Jesus? Who is the judge in the day of judgment? Is is it God or Muhammad? So sorry. Who is the judge in the judgment day? God or Muhammad? It's a God. Okay, so how come how come you ignore that Jesus he said in the same chapter that he is the judge in the day of judgment, but you see only that he said my father only know because you are selective you are trying to find a reason and which when we explain to you the reason you don't want to listen so listen 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 why who is the one who forgives sin, God or Muhammad? Oh, God forgives sin. Okay, Jesus he forgives sin. Who is the one? Who is the one? Who, who is the one exists before all mankind? God or Muhammad? God. Okay, that is Jesus. Jesus says, "I was with your father before the whole world is exist." So how come you don't see all of those things, but you see only that Jesus? He said, "Only my father know," but he just confirmed this is his father, the father. So who is the one who know the father? Not Allah, not Muhammad, and Jesus because simply. He said, everything I have, everything I have is given to me from my father. So the authority belong to the father. The son is born of the father, not the opposite. So what's wrong that the father is the one who is having the authority over the day of judgment? But the one who will be the judge, you see, you see, listen, the son have a job, the father have a job. Now let's go back to zero. You said to me that the, the Bible never changed as text, but 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 we change the meaning and you fail to give me you fail to give me how we change the meaning. i gave you a question i said to you okay i'm going to ask you please give me the meaning of the bible you are the muslim now and you are a person with good deed can you explain the bible for me hmm. i simply humbly ask you when i say something let me finish it i'm not going to take you too much time i will take you one or two minutes then i will finish it then hmm. you can explain you can Say whatever you need. Just give me the time to finish what I have to say. Mm. I will promise you, I will never take too much time. So when I say there's a two opinion, first opinion was the meaning was changed. Second opinion was the text was changed. So mm. Ibn Amba had the opinion, the second opinion, the text was changed. Okay, was which one you take? Why well, you are wasting my time? Which one you take? I take the second one. The thank, second thank you very much. Day. Okay, guys, he take the second time. So thank you very much. So all this drama is about what to say to me, that even the Muslims okay. are confused. Hold on. Uh, the Muslims are confused if the text has changed or not. That means the Quran is a stupid book because shouldn't the Quran make it clear? Okay. If this is, hold on, shut up. Isn't the Quran the book of Allah and he is your guidance? It's not Ibn Abbas, it is Allah. So in the Quran, obviously, Nowhere it says that the Bible is changed, otherwise all of you will agree that the Bible is changed, but you just gave me two opinion. Half of the Muslims say, oh, you know what? Uh, not, not change, it's only the meaning. The other half say, oh, the, the text changed. And so why the Muslims are confused? Because obviously the Quran is a stupid book. Thank you very much for saying that. However, what you just said is against the Quran. From the beginning, I told you, the Quran said that I confirmed the book between their hands. So how Allah confirmed the book between our hands, yet you Muslim, you take the second opinion. Yeah, it is our hands. It is talking about the Quran. Because which is no, between no, our hands. not talking about the Quran. Talking about the book was before you. Musaddiqan lima bayna yadayhi. Musaddiqan lima bayna Do you know, do you know, do you know the Arabic? Chapter three, chapter three, verse number three. Okay, let me go. Let me go there. Okay. Mm. <coughs> In the meantime, you tell we have a different opinion. That means Quran is wrong. No, that so means that means Islam. Is, that means the Quran failed to explain okay. itself. The Quran okay. <laughs> failed to explain itself in a very sensitive uh, topic. 
that the book of Allah, the book of Allah is preserved or not, because when the Muslim, they accuse the Torah or the gospel to be corrupted, they are accusing Allah that he is weak. He could not protect his book. Anyone can give Allah a finger and, 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 and change the book. Yeah, okay. this is what you are saying to me. Okay, okay, when you say something like that, maybe you clearly know the Christian history. Even in the Christian history, you could not actually on Trinity. That's why you have the church fathers. They have different opinions. Who, who? An example. who? Yeah, I mean, in your Christian history, okay, yeah. you have the church fathers, okay? Yeah. In the early church fathers, until the Council of Nicaea in 381, yeah. they could not agree on Trinity. No, this is this, this, this is this is this is this is a stupid of you to say, because <laughs> no, okay, okay. because that cancel that cancel is not about the Trinity. That cancel is about if Jesus was exist from the beginning or not. If he is exist with the Father, hold on. If he is exist or later he was born, that it was. So all of them they agree that Jesus is God. Hold on. All of them, both party who they are debating, they agree about Jesus being God. Is that correct? So, that's why you have so you see, you're being stupid now. So but even when debate, they are not debating. And secondly, secondly, <laughs> the, the, say, hold on, no, those are, you know, for us, if somebody go out of the line of the teaching of Jesus, we don't call him a Christian. We call them heretic. We call them a cult, like Muhammad. As an example, Muhammad. Muhammad, he made satanic verses saying that his God told him that I will give you women. Go and sleep with this and this and this. What does this have to do with God? If, 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 Muhammad is, if Muhammad is from God, he will not even get such a verse. Now, read for me chapter 3, verse number 3. Because, listen, you just destroyed your religion. You just destroyed your religion. You Muslims, you believe against your Quran. You are insulting your God, making fun of him, and I love it. Okay, okay. Now, the thing is, you do not just... My friend, don't waste my time. Gone... Not the thing, not my thing, not your thing. Let us go to the Quran. Which one is more accurate, me or you or the Quran? <laughs> no, let, let's see, okay. Even if in the Christian history, okay, hmm. you have the first, first Clement of Rome. Then my friend, we don't have... Justin this Martin. is not a Christian Justin history. Martin. This is this is not a this is that that's that's false. That's false. This is not a Christian history because in the Old Testament, not only in the New Testament, the Trinity is exist. Isn't it isn't it isn't it David? Isn't it David? You know, Jesus he said to the Jews, What you say about the Messiah? This he said he is the son of David. He said, Then how David he called him God in his spirit. This is in the Old Testament. So don't be stupid. You are ign you are ignorant. You, you are ign you are ignorant. David okay. worship David worship the Messiah before the Messiah even coming to this earth to be between us, born from Mary. Now go, on, my friend. Don't waste my time. Chapter three, verse number three. No, you are lying. Can you show me single church fathers who believe in Trinity? Give me a single name who believe in Trinity. Can you believe? Can, can you show me what? Can you show me what? Can you give me one church father name of the one church father? Who All of them. In Trinity? All of them is, 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 isn't it John from the church father? Isn't it Paul from the church father? Isn't it Matthew from the church father? How far how farther we can go? Are you stupid or what? <laughs> no, 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 because we have the because we don't. No, 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 no just, just wait. We will, we will go there. Just wait. You are being silly. I mean, you are, you are just a kid. You, you don't even have a mature no. sentence, my friend. No. The church father, the first father of the church, is the disciple of Jesus. So you are telling me that in the book of John, Nowhere is speaking about the Trinity. Are you saying to me in the book of Matthew, no. nowhere it says to speak about Trinity? Are you saying to me in the book of Luke, nowhere is speaking about the Trinity? You are just a fool <laughs> trying to make to, 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 to play smart. So now listen, no, no. why you don't want to read for me the verse? Why you don't want to read for me the verse? Why you don't want to read for me the verse confirming that every single Muslim is a fraud? Chapter 3, verse number 3. No, because you are lying. Because okay, read it. Say, okay, read let, it. Let, let, read let, it. Let, let, let us finish what you said just now. You said that Pat, John, Matthew, Luke, it is talking about Trinity, but the early church fathers, they had a different opinion about that one. Nobody, no, that's, that's a lie. That is a lie. Because no church no. father, you, you, you are being stupid again. Because a church father, in order to be called father of the church, he have to follow those books. There's no other books. We don't have Sahir Bukhari. You are you, you are acting like a monkey no, now. Listen, no, don't we don't know. have no, no, we don't have right. we don't have no, other no. we don't have the Bible says anyone who bring other than the uh, 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 scriptures let him be cursed. So any Christian who follow anything else except those gospel, he is no Christian. And the gospels are so clear. The gospel confirm 
the gospel confirmed that Jesus is God. Yes or no? No, no. Okay, so, no. okay, so hold on, hold on. You just said the gospel never said that Jesus said, I am God. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay, after we read this verse, I'm going to show you a list of verses and I challenge you. I will show you one verse now. Also, also Bible says he's a man. So how are you going to reconcile? Because Bible, some verses say he's a goat. Okay, according to your argument. Some verses say he's a man. So he's what? He is God. Okay. He is a God. In the, uh, Your God is a man. No, he's not a man. Okay, we will go. Okay, we will go. Let us finish this verse, my friend. We will go. We will show how Jesus can be man and God in the same time. And how God, Allah, the God of Islam, cannot be God because he's a man. He cannot do what God can do. So Jesus, when he is a man, he can forgive sin. He can make the blind see. He can walk in water. He can resurrect people from death. Even he is a creator. Is that correct? What do you mean no? Jesus did not Jesus 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 is not is Jesus is not the creator. Shall we do one thing? No 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 no. Uh, answer me answer me. You said you said no. I said Jesus is the creator. You said no. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes. So there is nowhere in your religion teach that Jesus create life. No. No. Because if he did, if he does something, it is a, with, the, with the permission of God. Because if you say Jesus is the dead, so even the prophet, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, one by one. I, don't speak fast. I can understand you. Okay. Right now, as I know, there is birds flying in the sky created by Jesus. Is that correct? It is. It is done with the permission of God. Like if you ah, say, hold on, hold on. Now it is by permission of God. How you can prove to me and why God he gave permission to Jesus not to Muhammad Secondly now we have by permission or not. We have two creator We have Jesus who have a permission of God to be creator That's what you just said everybody is laughing and we have Allah as a creator. So now we have two creators No, if you give the permission that when he is not good Does the Quran say? <laughs> if he is a good why he need why he need to take permission in the first place? First of all, first of first of all, first of all, did Allah give me permission now to laugh at him? No, no, you keep saying permission. How you can prove to me that your God gave Jesus the permission? We have a proof that Jesus, he do what nobody can do. Only God. Can you prove to me that your God can do anything and he can give a permission to do anything? Because in the Quran, it is still elemental. He is just a dead. But but the, but the Quran the Quran is a the Quran is a word of a man. He claimed to be a prophet. He never met Jesus. He never saw Jesus. So how we can trust him? Same time, did the Quran says that Allah is the best of the creators? Yeah. Okay. okay. How? So so you are the one you are the one who said you follow the Quran and the Quran says Allah is the best of the creators. So even the Quran admit there's many creators. No. What do you mean no? What do you mean now? How Allah can be the best of the creators if he's only the, the only creator? Not because when he gives, when he says he's the best of the creator, because in the human, human creates so many things, but Allah is the best. That's but false. That's that's false. Because the Quran defined what is a creator is. He said, you know, you the, you worship someone, he cannot even create a fly. The Quran says that. So the one who can create a fly. Is a creator, not the one who made a bicycle. Bicycle is an idea, is not a creation. You are just being dumb now, like the rest of the Muhammadan. So Jesus, he did not make a bicycle, my friend. He made mud, he shaved the mud, he breathed into the mud, and this is exactly what your God did to create Adam, correct? Yeah. So okay, so what do, you, what do you mean, yeah? What do you mean, yeah? When when Jesus he breathed into the mud, from the breathe of Jesus life is given. Correct. It is with the permission of God. Go to the you, okay, world. you keep saying that you keep you keep saying if there is anyone in the world beside Jesus being given permission from Allah to create like Allah. Yeah, before the Elijah, Prophet Elijah, he used to be instructed. Who 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 who? Prophet Elijah. Prophet Elijah, he create people. Yeah. No, he created because he resurrected dead people. So who this is not. Hold on, you see, you're being stupid again. I'm asking you, why you are being? A, are, are you? Are, are you? T are you like 16 years old? I'm asking you. If there is anyone in Islam, first of all, Elijah did not create anybody. You are just being dumb again. 
You are like me, hijab. He says, Elijah means God is with us. So listen carefully. If there is anyone beside Jesus, the Messiah, he can create from the mud a bird by breathing into the mud in Islam. If there is anyone else. Any, yeah, anyone can do with the permission of God. No, no, I'm asking you, you see, you are just being plain stupid in purpose, so you won't answer. <laughs> if there is anyone, anyone, don't tell me anyone, I'm asking you, if there is anyone beside the Messiah in Islam did what Jesus did by breathing into the mud, he made a living creature. No, no. no then no. shut up and explain to me why. As long, no, hold on, on, hold on. So now, so now, so now, we have Jesus and we have Allah and both of them according to Islam is unique. What is unique about them? Only two. So, if it is unique, then Jesus should be able to do on his own. He knows Jesus he will be able to do what, what, what? Jesus will be what, what, what? He should be able to do without the permission. He asked for permission. That okay, where, where, is, where Jesus, he asked for permission. Can you assure me? Go to the verse, go to the verse. He created birth with the permission of God. Okay, this, but this is what you, this is what the Quran is saying. The Quran is saying Allah. Okay, hold on. So now, okay, I will go with you. Just to show, everybody is dying laughing at what you are saying. So Allah no, gave no. Jesus, hold on. Allah gave Jesus a permission to create. Is that because he is son? This is his son? No. So why? Okay, again, so I'm asking you, so I'm asking you for the sake of the shin of Allah, can you tell me why Allah gave Jesus permission to do something only God can do? It is a will of Allah because if you say a prophet Elijah also did the Elijah did not do what Jesus did. You are stupid, and nowhere in the Quran is mentioned that. See again now you are saying, hold on, you are you are saying you are saying now that your book is a is a book of lies. Nowhere in the Quran it says that Elijah he can do what Jesus did, and he did anything like Jesus. So now you are accusing that the Quran is lying about Elijah and going and taking the Bible against the Quran. Claiming that Elijah, he can do as Jesus, which is not a true, because nowhere it says that Elijah can create. Yeah, but what Elijah did, only God can do, because what you are... I'm asking you a question. Why Allah gave Jesus only, according to you, the permission to create? It is a will of God. We do not know. So it you cannot God explain the will of Allah? Sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Okay, so you Muslim saying to me, so you are you Muslim, you are saying to me, we cannot explain to you why Allah gave one of his unique features to be God, because only God can create. But look what happened now. If Jesus cannot do those things, Christian will not believe that Jesus is God. Why I believe Jesus is God? Not only because he don't have sin, not because only he speak wisdom, but because he can do what nobody can do. Only God can do. So Jesus is a creator. Well, he is God. Jesus resurrect people from death. Well, he is God. I cannot, you cannot, he, he cannot, nobody can do. Now you can claim as much as you wish that Allah gave Jesus a permission and we love if Allah can give Jesus a permission. Hold on, listen. Can Allah give himself a permission to resurrect people from death? Yeah, so why he did so why he did not resurrect Muhammad? Hey, yeah. CP, I don't think you don't have even the basic common sense to debate. No, so you no, no, you see, I'm asking you a very simple question. How come Jesus can walk in the street, even according to your stories, your Muslim stories? Jesus, he commanded Nawa, Nawa to come from the dust. Nawa himself. He go back in time to the first man, the son of the first man, and he command him, Hey Noah, come back from the dust. Tell me what happened. How come Jesus can command the sand and bring Noah from the grave, which is a man who died long, long time ago, but your prophet cannot do that and your God cannot do that? Yeah, 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 said. In the Quran, it is said he can bring Noah. This is your story. You see, our topic is about documentation. The Muslim documented what Muhammad said. This is what Muhammad said. So are you saying to me now Muhammad is a liar? No, I am telling whatever he do with the permission of God. No problem. I'm asking you why. You don't answer why. Okay, why Muhammad cannot bring a chicken from the ground? No, Muhammad, because it is the will of God as an as Okay, an I'm asking you now why it is the will of God that Jesus, he can do what God can do. This is a stupid logic, CP. No. Okay. Even I uh, you know, my friend, my friend. Can, uh, I, let us say, let us say, I have, I have a stupid logic. Can Allah do the same as Jesus? Okay. Can Allah 
Can Allah listen? Listen. Now we put Jesus into test. He passed. Jesus, he made the blind see. You agree with that? I agree with that. Jesus, he can make the the, the sick man heal. He can heal the leper. He can make the one who cannot walk walk. According to the Quran, even he can create from the clay a bird. He can resurrect people from death. He can tell you even what you hide in your houses, and only Allah knows the unseen. Can Allah do any of those things Jesus did? Allah is the one who gave the same. You keep saying to me, you keep saying to me, Allah give it permission. But the whole Quran saying Allah could not do anything like Jesus. As an example, Allah decided to be smart. And the, the Jews, they came to Allah and they asked him, well, you know, uh, hey, Muhammad, uh, Allah told us that we should not accept any prophet unless he give sacrifice. And then Allah, he sent fire from the sky and to consume it. Muhammad, he agreed that Allah told him that. But how come Allah could not do it? No, it doesn't mean Allah could not know it. It is, it is it mentioned Allah said, I will not do it. I mean, he never said he could not know it. No, no you listen, it. listen, listen, listen. If Allah, he put condition on the Jew not to believe in any prophet. Allah, he put condition. He said, don't listen to anyone. He said to you, I'm a prophet, unless he do the following. Chapter 3, verse number 183. Are you now making fun of the Quran? So the Jews, they said to Muhammad, no problem. We will believe in you. Give us the proof which Allah required from us. And this is what the Quran is saying, not me. And Muhammad agreed with them that Allah, he said that, but he cannot do it. Why? Read it. Okay, you keep saying to me what it says. I show you the verse. I give you the number. You never read anything. Okay, can you give me the number again? Chapter 3, okay. verse number 183. Chapter 3, okay. Verse number 183. Give me a second. Hmm. Some Quran, those verses are missing, by the way. So I don't know what kind of Quran you have. No, it is not there. Yeah. Uh, okay, let me go to this conversion. Okay, I hope you have the right. Uh, do you have the Quran of Zakir Naik? Mm, okay, read, read for okay. us. Hmm. Very simple test. They are not asking him to do anything. Just put a goat, you know, make a slaughter, make a, 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 a lamb, put it in the, in the ground, and God will send fire. If you are a prophet, and this is what Allah, He told them not to do, accept any prophet, unless He do this. No, it is not mentioned. What? I have gone. Uh, okay, can uh, what what is the version you are using? It is, what's the verse one fifty nine, right? Chapter three, verse one eighty three. One eighty three. Oh, one eighty three. Okay. Mm. Oh, one eight. You know. Just not uh, let me go to another verse, okay? Oh, it is not there. Can you show me in your screen? You could not find no. the verse. I told you the Quran you have is messed up. You could not find it, right? Are you sure you are opening the Quran at yellow pages? Chapter 3, verse 183. What the problem? No, it, 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 is, no, it does not mention anything what you said. Okay, no, uh, why you don't read it for us? Guys, it doesn't mention anything like I said. Prove me wrong, here we go. You, got, uh, you have hundreds of people listening. Let them laugh at me. Go ahead, read it and tell me how it did not mention what I said. Why then did you kill them if you are truthful? What? No. Don't talk to yourself. Read it. Read it. People want to. You, you, you have a nice. You know. You you are the uh, Muslims are the best one. Actually, the Quran, by the way, is so beautiful when you read it. No. Read so look and we laugh. So does it say that the Jews they say to Muhammad, Allah told us He took our promise, promise, mithaq ahd, that we will not accept any prophet unless he give a sacrifice, which is a lamb. 
and he make an offering to Allah, not to the pagan God. No, haram, haram. Allah is not pagan. Yeah, make a sacrifice, and this Allah condition that we will not believe in you unless you do that. What? Look how easy it is. That is calling because okay, okay, I got the point. In that one, it is saying Allah gave them clear signs, but even. Those kill those prophets, that is what is mentioned because it is talking about the story of Salih. In that one, God gave them a camel, and even the clear sign gave them, they killed that camel. Okay, so now, now, now you make it more horrible. Can you give me one prophet the Jews they killed from the Quran? Yeah, of course. Do it. Who? Before, due, to the, due to the action, they killed the John the Baptist. They Who? Was killed by the Who? Prophet Where prophet in the Quran it says that John the Baptist was killed by the Jews? Are you, are you mentally ill? How about Jesus? He was killed by the Jews. Oh, so now Jesus was killed and Muhammad and Muhammad lie. Hmm? See? What? You just admitted, you just admitted that the Jews, they killed Jesus, which means the Muslims and Muhammad are a fraud. No. Because that was the purpose of the Jews, even John the Baptist was killed. Listen, no, 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 not according to Islam, you are a Muslim, you are making things up now. So, the, and the Jews did not kill John the Baptist, you donkey. Who told you that? Who told you that? The Jews, the Jews are the one who killed John the Baptist. The rabbis, they brought John the Baptist and they killed him. You're stupid like your prophet. Listen, I, 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 I have enough time with the breastfeeding for adults. Listen, I want you to tell me. Did Allah put a condition on the Jews that you should not accept a prophet unless he give a sacrifice? If Allah is the one who put that condition and Muhammad he accept, so what is the excuse? Oh, you know what? Prophet before me did, did that. But so that means Allah is stupid because Allah he told them, don't accept anyone. Don't Allah knew that those Jews one day Muhammad will come to them and they will ask him for that. Do it. How easy it is. It was it was in the time, even though God God what is God clearly telling, even if I even if I gave them clear sign, they did not believe. So it. can so you I, okay, are you saying to me that in the whole Quran there's no clear sign given to those people to believe? <laughs> oh, there are so many signs. There are so many miracles of course. Okay, give me a, give me one so we can laugh. Challenge to you. Oh no, no, no. Because the CP, your are so stupid. No, 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 no. You see, the question is, how come Jesus, he can do all those things? And now we prove that Muhammad is in this ability. He can do nothing. He's a, he's a false man. I can claim that I'm sent by God. And then I can, like Mirza Ghulam, he claimed to be the Messiah. Second day, a bunch of a Christian, they brought him. Many people cannot walk, blind men, blind women. And they said, okay, if you are the, the Messiah, do what the Messiah do. He, he closed his door, his, his door and he hide like a rat. So your prophet is the same. Your prophet cannot do anything. So I'm asking you now, can your prophet do any miracle? Of course, there are so many miracles. Give me, give me, me give me one. And uh, that uh, water came from his hand. There was an incident. What, what? Uh, the people are going, the water, because in the story of Moses, you know. Where we can find this, water. where we can find this story? It is in the Hadith. Okay, so you are saying to me, that in the Quran, Allah, he said he never gave any sign to Muhammad. In the Hadith, it says that Muhammad, he have miracles. No, Quran never said he will, I will not, never give you any sign. It Quran says that, it says that, here we go, let me show you. You are just ignorant like Dag Zakir Naik. Say, say hello to him, say hello to him, say Christian Prince, he spank the Muslims every day. Here we go. This is the, the whole Quran keeps saying that they keep asking him, how come he don't have one sign? Just one sign, one. Even at the end of Muhammad life, still they're asking for the same thing. How come he don't have one sign? So are you against the Quran? Are you against the Quran? Are you, are you against the Quran? Are you against the Quran? No. Okay, so, so why they are asking for a sign if Muhammad, he made a miracle about the water, as you said. Yeah, not one, there are so many. Because we so, consider that in, Quran why in the Quran, hold on, you see everybody is dying laughing at the fabrication of Muslims. How come in the Quran, how come in the Quran, every single miracle of Jesus is mentioned there? But in the Quran, we cannot find one miracle of Muhammad. <laughs>
No, first, first, first CP that itself proves he is a prophet. So if we say, actually, how that to prove anything? How that to prove anything? If it is, if it happened, if it happened, listen, if it happened, it should be mentioned in the Quran. But in the Quran, there's nothing. Obviously, this is a fabrication later because Muhammad he made it clear he can do nothing. He can do nothing. But what, what water? You're okay. Listen, listen. So when so so, uh, so let us make it let us make it clear let us make it clear Muhammad never given a sign from Allah in the Quran. Do you agree? No, first CP. If I go to talk, don't tell me first and second. Give me the answer. Give me the answer. In the Quran, there is not a single place Muhammad saying the Quran saying Muhammad did miracles. No. So why? 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 It is no, it, no. Okay, I can ask you the same question. Why did Jesus say, "Father is greater than me"? Why he said? For very simple, very simple. Because he's a greater, because he's greater than him. He's the Father. Are you stupid or what? That's why he called him the Father. Who is a? Hold on, 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 hold on. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. But Jesus, he came to us as a as he, the Bible says, Jesus, he humbled himself. So he took the image of a man. So he come to us. This is why the father is greater. Because now Jesus is speaking to us as a man. He humble himself. The, yeah, Jesus, yeah, shut up, shut up. Yeah, the Bible says no, that he is no, the visible no, no. image of the invisible God. This is what the Bible says. You said to me nowhere in the Bible. It says the church father, they say that Jesus is God. He is the visible image of the visible, of the invisible God. When, when one of the disciples, Jesus said, why don't show us the father? And that's it. Jesus says to him, I am with you all the time. And you do not know me. The one who saw me. He saw the Father, which means the one who saw me. He saw God. No. Shut up. Now, listen, you are trying to change the topic. How come, how come in the Quran, Allah could not do the same as Jesus? Forget about Muhammad now. Forget about Muhammad. You see, Muhammad is an idiot. We laugh at him. He's busy with Aisha, six years old. But I'm now focusing on Allah. You see, when we talk about Jesus can create, you said to me, Allah gave him permission. In order to believe in that, Allah should be able to create. Did Allah create anything? Yes, no. Yes, no point talking to you if you don't give me enough time. Are you because going to hang up? Me. Are you going to hang up and run? Can Allah no, create? Can, if there is any no, proof, if there is any proof that Allah can create like Jesus. No, Allah can do anything. It doesn't say Allah. Okay, here we go. Allah, he said in the Quran, Allah, Allah in the Quran, he said, hold on, hold on. In the Quran, Allah, he said, how can I have a son if I don't have a girlfriend? No, it is Allah says it is not fitting for him. He doesn't say I cannot. He no, no, he did not say that. He did not say that. He did not say that. He said, How I can, how can I have a son if I don't have a girlfriend? Sahiba. What is the problem? He don't have a girlfriend. So can Allah have a son? No. Why? Because he don't have a girlfriend. He did not say, he did not say what it's not fitting for him. What does that mean? This is no. stupid. No, listen, listen. In other words, in other words, in other verse, it says, if Allah He will, He want to have a son, He will. So you are stupid. You do not know your book, obviously. He said He can, but it is that it is not fitting for him. Okay, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Not fitting for me. But here we have different verse saying that He cannot have a son. You see, the one He is saying. Okay, when I say uh, each time I give you a verse, you never read it. Is that a habit in you Muslims? Are you illiterate like your prophet? They keep giving you verses. After verses, you never read one. Chapter 6, verse 101. Chapter 6, verse 101. <coughs> See, the thing is, you don't understand. Good don't waste my time. Read the verse. Read the verse. You don't even understand the English. Read the verse. Yeah. Read the verse. You don't understand English? Yeah, that's the thing. Because the, the, you should have better education. Ah, oh, I don't understand English. Do your prophet know English? Do your God Allah speak English? If so, why you pray to him in Arabic? I speak Arabic. I speak the language of your God. And I speak good Arabic, not like the Arabic of your God. The Quran is full of stupid things. Now, now read for me this pupu. Read for me this pupu. Don't talk about English, you know. But then, sister, read some bread, you don't speak English. And now we prove that you don't even educate educated. Your prophet can't even read his name. He cannot even read his name according to you. Are you making fun of your prophet? Are you trying to bully me now? 
So now read for me. How Allah, let us bully Allah, me and you together. Let us join forces together. I will pay you $5, you know. Allah, he is saying, how can he? This is not me. How can he? Because I know you will not read the verse because you are a coward. How can he have a son if you don't have a wife? How can? Who is saying the word? How can Allah? So what can present the ability? Allah is unable to have a son unless he has a girlfriend. He simply says, if we have a wife, if we have a son, that means he has, should have a wife too. That's why he has no Ah, wife. thank you very much. See, I, I I will go with you now. So now Allah. So now now you just now you just approve to me. Hold on, you just approve to me that Allah cannot be the one who made Mary have a son, because if Allah cannot do it to Himself, how He can do it to Mary? Now, if I ask you how Mary she have a son, you will say Allah gave a permission. Here we go. Allah can't even give a permission to Himself. He cannot have a son unless He have a wife. And you agreed, okay? Yeah. Well, Allah, if you want to have son, he need to have a he need to have a wife. Thank you very much for saying that. No, he doesn't say he need to have a wife. He says no. It's he no you wife. said that. You said he that has. too, and he said that. You said that, and he said that. Why Allah cannot? Okay, hold on. Why he is mention? Why he is mentioning? How can I have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? If he do not need a girlfriend? He, he doesn't say he does not. No, he cannot. He says. How no, he I says he cannot. Are you stupid? Read the verse. Read the verse. Don't tell me he did not say that. He said, how can he? He did not say, he did not say, I don't have a son. No, he said, how can he? And this is funny, Allah speaking about himself as he, which is stupid. So how can he have a children, have a son, but he have no girlfriend, not wife, sahiba? He simply say, he did not have because all oh, those, those people attribute that he has a son. Son, God simply asking how he can have a son because in the goat, if as an example, okay, if goat have a son, that's when he could have a female goat, only male goat and female goat can okay, have a goat okay, 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 okay. Are you that, shaking? That, are you are you shaking your head now? I can imagine you shaking your head. You know, okay, I will go with you. Okay, so if Allah if Allah have a son, that means he have a he have a wife. Okay, I'm going to show that you are stupid. Does the God of the Christians have a wife in order to have a son? That's why we say it is wrong. That is the logic. See, you're just being stupid now. You just say to me, he is showing them that in order to have a son, he need to have a wife. But if he is refuting the Christian, you're stupid. The Christian don't believe that God have a wife and they have a son. His name is Jesus. So your God, you fail again. You fail again with the stupid Muhammad story because the Christian, nobody believe that God have a wife. They get married and they went to the honeymoon in the Bahama and then they have a baby son. His name is Jesus. And little, you know, happy, happy time. Hey, my son, how are you doing? Where's your mom? This is stupid because they don't believe that God have a wife. So the answer here is a stupid answer. Proving to me that the one who made the Quran have a lack of wisdom. I want to tell you a story and please don't make fun of me. You know, yeah. because I want to see, I want to see how I far, how far. Tell don't tell me one thing. Don't tell me one. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. Don't hang up. Hold on. Hold on. No, I will I tell you. I will tell you a story. I will tell you. Let's hold let's on. Let's I just received a message. I just, I just received a message from my grandmother. Uh, hold on. Oh boy. Okay. She just said to me, hold on, I'm read, I'm going to read for you. I will share it live on air. That my grandfather, he passed away, and they did not notice that he is dead since last year, twelve months ago, because he died standing holding a stick. What do you think? Why are you are laughing? No, no, I'm I'm not laughing. I didn't I did not understand what you said. My grandfather, my my grandmother, she told me that my grandfather, he passed away 12 months ago, but none in his house noticed that he is dead because when he died, okay. he died standing, holding a stick. Okay. What do you think about my grandmother's story? Should I believe her? Because simply, simply I'm telling you, when you say something, I don't, don't, you have don't change the topic, please. Time. You are hurting my feelings now. I'm talking saying. about my grandfather, please. Should I believe her that my grandfather, he died 12 months ago and nobody noticed that he is dead because he was holding a stick standing. She come to the room, she speak to him, he didn't answer. She did not notice still because he stand, he's standing for 12 months. Shall I believe in her story? 
You cannot. The story in the Quran, you idiot. Huh? huh? This is story in the Quran. Everybody heard you saying, no, you cannot believe it. So now you just buried your prophet. Your prophet is a fraud. He is a liar. He said, Jesus gave, a permission, gave him permission from Allah. Here we go. You should not believe this story, but this is a story is in the Quran. Nobody noticed that he is dead. Hold on. Nobody no noticed he is dead until the termite, they ate his stick and he fell down. And you are saying, no, you should not believe in it. Everybody heard you. It's recorded. You cannot take it back. It is recorded. Oh. Open the Quran. No, open open the Quran with me and let everybody oh. laugh at the false prophet who claimed he's to be prophet. He bring us oh, fiction, yeah. fiction stories. Even you, you as a Muslim, you refuse to believe in it. Oh. No, no, because I see, 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 the thing is, you never let me speak. That's why it is like you are winning. You never let me speak. If you give me at least... I let you speak. You said no, everybody I heard it. I tell you the story. I repeat the story three times. I told you it's a sensitive. You hurt my feeling, and you, you, you know, you think. Thank you very much. You did not hurt my feeling very much, but you hurt my feeling very much at the end because you accuse my grandmother that she is lying when she said to me, "My grandfather died for last twelve month, and nobody noticed." And I asked you, should I believe her? You said no. That is a miracle. Okay, even in the it's a miracle. It's a miracle. Hold on. A second ago, it was not a miracle. Why it's not a miracle about my grandfather? Maybe God wants him to stand like this. And how it can be a miracle? A person is dead. Hold on, hold on. Don't tell me the band. A second ago, it was a false story. A second after, it's a true story. Listen, if a man is dead, let us say it's a miracle. I want to go with you. Can a termite destroy the miracle of Allah? You know, can the termite, listen, can the termite, the termite ants, the Allah when I can see his death, his wife, his, this guy is a king, he's a king, he's have a kingdom. So all the people, they come, they see a guy standing up, let us say for the sake of argument, a human being standing for a year, his body did not decay, your prophet, he stink after three days from not burying him. And then it was Ibn Abbas, and you mentioned Ibn Abbas, he said, Bury your friend, he stink like all a human, they stink. But your prophet, he says, we prophet, nobody, God, he forbid our body from decay, from being decayed. So he exposed himself again. Even his death was an exposure, expose to him. But listen what happened now. Allah want to conceal the death of Salomon. He made him stand holding a stick. I, I, Who in the world want to believe? Hold on. Let us say, let us say I go to the room of Solomon, and now Solomon is dead. He's holding a stick. How I will not find out that there's not something wrong. The first day I came to him, he did not answer. He did not talk. He's not moved. He's dead. Second day I come back. He's not moving. He's not talking. He's not answering. Third day, fourth day one year and nobody noticed that the guy is dead until the termite they ate his stick do you have termite at home yeah first maybe you, you should let give me enough time so i can come up with a reply because you never let me speak we have similar stories in the bible also that's a story of the people of the cave so they sleep in people the of, cave people, people, of, people of what why, why you are why you are jumping like a monkey you're trying to escape from a stupidity to say in the Bible it says what in the Bible it says there's a guy he dies standing for a year <laughs> no hold on okay hold on hold on if we have if we have the same story in the Bible you can mention one so we can laugh together okay. in the same time okay. how you okay. okay okay mention to me a story from the Bible so we can laugh Okay, we can laugh. Okay, hmm. in the Bible of in the Jacob. Okay, Jacob wrestled with God and he defeated the God. Thank you very much. So okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you defeat God? Okay, what if I show you that you're a prophet? He is a stupid man. He took the story and it's in the Quran. No, show me in the Bible. No, hold on, hold on. You see, in the Bible, it's speaking about Jacob. The struggle here is not about fighting boxing like Muhammad Ali. You're an idiot. But you're a prophet. He took the name of Israel for Jacob in the Quran, which means he, admit, he agreed with the story because this is what Israel means. No, it, that means 
what is Israel? What is Israel mean? Can you tell me what Israel mean? People call him Israel. That's why he took the name. It doesn't mean prophet. Actually. No, not people. You donkey. Not people call him. Allah called him. The Quran in front of you. Are you a donkey or what? Yo, that's why the people okay. call him. Okay, why? No, not the people call him. Not the people call him. Allah called him Israel. Can you tell me why? Israel mean? Israel mean? Israel mean? Shut up. Israel mean? This is what this is. An open the dictionary. The one who struggled and wrestled with God. You just made fun of the story. You are making fun of the Quran. This is what. This, this, okay. So why in the Quran? Why in the Quran? Why in the Quran? Your God, Allah, saying, well, yeah, he struggled and he wrestled with God. His name is Israel. It is the Bible. In the Bible, your God My friend, why the name? God. Okay, in the Bible, it says, because he struggled with God, God told him from now on, I call you Israel. Now, why your God no. called him Israel? Why, why your God did not call him Jacob no more? He called him Israel. Can you give me the answer? Him. Okay, That's so are you saying to me, are you saying to me that the Jews, they say that Jacob, he struggled with God, so we will call him Israel. Allah, he liked the name. He took it too. Because if you need to identify <laughs> someone, if, as an example, if, you are, if your name is stupid, then only I can go. Listen, listen, listen. People are dying laughing at you. Now, let, let me ask you. You mentioned that is it possible to 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 challenge God, like to struggle with God, to refuse God command, or to fight God, is that correct? Yeah, that means okay. it is illogical. If, it if, is very good. if Allah, yeah, if Allah, okay, my friend, my friend, I love it, I love it what you just said. You just said, you just said it's illogical. So it's logical that Shaitan he go inside your anus if you don't say the prayer before you enter the bathroom. It's logical Shaitan go around your penis when you having if you don't have a prayer before intercourse. It's logical that Shaitan sleep in your nose, piss in your ears, and jump in your mouth. It's logical that Shaitan he will make fire in your wife a pupic if you don't say a prayer before she having sex. It's logical that Shaitan he fart when you pray to Allah. It's logical that when you go to heaven, you will be uh, an endless, uh, uh, your penis will be endless and your wife vagina will be endless too. It's logical that in heaven, your prophet will have the power of 4,000 men and boom, boom. It's logical that in heaven, your wife, she will have an ass of one mile. It's logical that in heaven, your wife, she will be see through, which is an x-ray, disgusting, stupid. It's logical that you will have 80,000 little boys to serve you and they are naked. It's logical that every woman, she have 70 maid and the 70 maid, they have 70 maid. And the 70 made me have 70 made you end with billions of women for sex shut up it's logical that you will have a tent it's logical it's have a tent in heaven it's the distance between it it's from damascus all the way to yemen it's logical that your prophet a bunch of black men they did ride him like a donkey all day long is that logical no you don't i told you because this are made up of figurative speech and second thing you don't understand in the english That's okay the my friend i don't understand english i don't learn islam by english i speak arabic do you understand arabic do you know arabic do you know arabic you keep making fun of me you keep making fun of me in my english do you know arabic i tell you you don't know arabic do you know arabic okay speak to me in arabic guys i do not know arabic hmm, here we go you don't have any common sense because you are interpreting in a completely different way. It is because my friend, let us go back to zero. Let us go back to zero. You see, I challenge you to show me one thing Allah can do like Jesus. You fail. Can Allah do anything like Jesus? No oh, man, how time I tell you how prove 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 very simple. Jesus, Jesus, according to the Quran, he did all those miracles. Did Allah did any miracles? Amen. Who created Jesus according to the Quran? Uh, according to the Quran, okay. Is, according Allah according to me, I I created Muhammad. Here we go. Huh. Talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. Okay. How Allah He can create Jesus? I will go with you. Who is the one according to the Quran who created Jesus? It is Allah created. Allah created Jesus. The Quran says no. No, according to Muslims, the one who created Jesus, according to Muslims, the one who created Jesus is Jibril. Yeah, Jibril is the one he blow, but it's he did. Hold on. So who is the one? Okay, hold on, hold on. Who is the one who? Who is the one who can only create? Why Allah did not give permission to Jibril? 
man. It is a will of God, man. You cannot, you cannot ask this stupid question. Okay, so we cannot ask, said, but you but can ask about can... my God, but you cannot ask your God. You see how you're stupid your logic? So we cannot ask yeah, because it's your God. Okay, now I'm asking you, please. I'm not asking Allah. Allah, is, Allah doesn't exist. We cannot ask him. Listen, 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 listen. If Allah is the one who created the human being, who is the one who created the human being? Is it Allah or Muhammad? Allah. Okay, how Allah he says he created a human being from a sperm and the sperm became a dead blood Hey man You are going out of the topic. Okay. No, we are not because if Allah is the one who create If Allah is the one who create he should know what he created and how he created But speaking stupid does not make you the creator what kind of God he say that Allah created from a semen and the semen become a thick dead blood? How Allah get it wrong? How Allah get that wrong? Oh no, man. you are talking about the science now, right? The first thing people each time I give you a verse, you never read it, you never answer, and you change the topic. No, you are the one changing the topic. It okay, is, is why the Allah do not know? Okay, let us focus. Let us focus. Why Allah do not know how the baby is created if He is the one who created the babies? Okay, even if you go to Genesis, in the first day He created light, in the fourth day He created He created sun. How can it in, in what? In what? In what? In the Genesis chapter one. Yeah. In the first day He created light, in okay. the fourth day He created sun. Okay, what, what, the, what, the, what the problem? How? Go to go, go. How can he create the light without the sun and moon? Because the light is can not the sun. Genesis? Abdul, let me explain to you. But uh, and then and okay. you know you you, see, you see you just killed your prophet right now. I will show you why. You, the light the light is light is not the sun. Sun is just a star. You are an idiot. Light, he said, let okay, me but, light. Hold on. You ask me a question. So now you say how the sun was created in the fourth day, correct? So this is the ob objection, correct? Light. Okay, but what if your prophet he said exactly the same, you idiot? Now you will you are in trouble badly. People will die laughing at you. Look, listen, you're a prophet, he said exactly the same. Let me show your name to everybody so people will die laughing at you. You know, you are from India, right? Or Pakistan. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. So here we go. Aha, aha. So it's a hadith. Ah, hadith. So what if it's a hadith? Is it is it authentic hadith? Is it authentic hadith or oh, hold on, hold on? Is it authentic or not? It's authentic. You laugh and you and Zach and Nick, you laugh. You say, "How oh God he can do that?" But now we found because both of you are a donkey, you do not know what your prophet said. Your prophet he said exactly. He changed a little bit the, the story, but he said that Allah created. Hold on, Allah created the light in Wednesday. Okay. Let me talk. Let me talk. You never let me read talk. the hadith. I, I read the read the hadith. I I, I know. I know. Sikhi. I know the hadith. Okay. No, you do not know the hadith. Know. Okay, give me the which book the hadith is located. Okay, okay. No, I don't remember the book. Okay. Which but the which just just give me the name, man. Okay. If, oh, if you know, you if you know the hadith, listen, you are a liar. You, you are a liar. You never heard this hadith before. This is why you made fun of what the Bible is saying. Because if you know, you will not mention it. Okay, tell me the name of the book. Okay, can you, can you, can you give me two minutes? So can you tell me the name of the book, which is the hadith is there? What is the name of the book? I know, I do not know the book. I know it is even... Swear by, I swear by the shin of Allah that you heard this hadith before. I have heard this. I have seen this. I have swear by the shin of Allah. Swear by the shin of Allah that you heard this hadith before. Amen. What? That hadith, I know what Muslim is so, so why do you want to swear? Okay, so now, so now we have a problem. You made fun that how that can be true because he <laughs> created the light in the beginning and then he created the sun. Well, you're a prophet. He is saying that there is no sun for the first four days. Yet there is trees. So, there's, there's trees. You, there's a trees. Okay, hold on, hold on. How many? How many? How many? Because each time I give you something to read, you refuse to read. No man. Why can't you let me speak? What is? Why can't you let me? Read? You made fun. You made fun about God said, "Let be light." I asked you why. I asked you why. He said. You said. 
because well he created the sun in in in, in the fourth day so um you are speaking stop talking about i'm not speaking each time i give you something you refuse to read and you jump to speak about the bible and then i get you busted and then we go back and that's what you did now the same as before so now are you making fun of your prophet if what he said in the hadith do you accept this hadith let me no no i don't accept it because even the muslim scholars say even though that is authentic some like albani says that is that is not a word of prophet muhammad it is someone okay al albani he Al-Albani said al albani he said this is not the word of a prophet muhammad can you show me where al albani he said that no no it is already i have so, because i have so many documents which says you are says, you are a big fraud a big fat liar no. show me where al albani he said that I have a link. Okay, I can paste in the chat. In show me, chat. show no, me no. where Al Alabani he said that. I will give you time. He, search, search, go, go, go ahead. Okay, in that verse, it is clearly mentioned. There's a first. They say it is someone messed up because someone got it from the Bible. It is not. It is. It is someone messed up in that in that hadith. It says this is from the Bible. Yeah. No, it is, it is not in the same hadith. It is the ah, it's not in the hadith. It is your grandma, he told you. But this is Sahih Muslim. This is authentic. No, Sahih Muslim, but even the Sahih Muslim, Muslim uh, is the So Muslim. now we go back to zero. So the documentation about your prophet is full of lies, and you Muslims, anything look embarrassing, you don't accept it. Now you mentioned to me that uh, 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 Israel, he fought and he struggled with God. You don't like that. If Allah He sent the angel of death to you to take your soul, can I beat up the angel? It depends who I am. Oh, if, if you are Brosley, if you are Brosley, you can beat the uh, the angel of Allah. No, it is, I don't know. Maybe if a prophet can do with the permission of God, it is possible. Ah, okay. Show me where it's. So, are you saying to me Allah is a stupid? So Allah He sent His angel. To take the life of Moses, hold on, to, to, to take the, the life of Moses, but Allah do not know that he gave him permission to beat the angel and not to die? No, show me the verse, show me the verse. You show me, show me the verse. the verse. So you never heard this story before? No, the thing is, you are missing. <laughs> I told you, you don't understand. So I'm asking you now, if Allah, he sent, when Muhammad, he died, can Muhammad beat the angel of Allah? So he can avoid death. Yes or no? Yes. First, give me the verse. I know you don't understand. You will change you the answer. You will change English. the answer when I give you the verse. I'm asking you. Can Muhammad? He is a prophet. Can Muhammad be the angel of death if he come to Muhammad to take his life? Allah send the angel. Allah send him. Send him to Muhammad. Can Muhammad the be the angel and he refuse to die? Yes or no? Okay. If the human be the God in the Bible. Then the human can defeat the angel. Too. No, nowhere it says you are a liar. Nobody, nowhere it says that uh, a human defeat God. You are stupid. Go to the Bible. You, you are a liar. Nowhere it says that. Nowhere it says that. You, you are a liar. You are a liar. Okay, okay, I will go with you. I will go with you. I will go with you for the sake of argument. I will go with you for the sake of argument. So are you saying to me? So are you saying to me? I can refuse the command of Allah and be the angel of death if Allah command my death. Yes or no? Go to the verse. Go to the verse. I the okay, verse. get I lost. Get lost. You are just son of Muta like the rest of you. Coward, you have no dignity. Go to the verse. I show you the verse, you refuse it. It's in the front of you, you potato. Go to Muta. Don't call me. I don't have time for kids. Why are you calling me back? Are you going to read or not? No, I don't. You are stupid. Give me the verse. Okay, I keep What's saying to you, I, okay, I keep, each time I gave you a verse, you never read it. Did you read one of them? Because you don't give me time. You don't give no, me time. I keep asking you. Okay, here we go. It's in front of you on the screen. Okay, okay. Give me a, give hmm. me a second. I'll just press. Okay. Uh-huh. No, it is not there. Read it. it. Don't talk. Don't talk. Read it. No, I cannot see that one still. I'm you... refreshing, but still I cannot Okay, refresh that. your screen. Say, inshallah, it's going to happen. You don't, don't talk I, read it you should give me enough read time. it you don't so we me. so we will laugh at you and your god no your god me. your god cannot even make his decision happen he decided no. to take the life of moses 
and Moses did beat the ass of his angel. And not only oh. that, he broke his wing and he took his eye out and the angel went back to Allah complaining, saying, you send me to a slave, you don't want to die. No, it is not there. Right, it's in the head. Read it. Allah. Read it. Show me the verse. I'm simply asking. Show me the verse. I know you don't understand. I Just get lost. Send me the verse. Send me the verse. Send me the verse. And every time I saw you a verse, I never read it. Send me the verse. 